Okay, so the ventral trigeminothalamic tract takes information regarding pain, temperature, and fully localized touch. Um, it is its origin are free nerve ending, and it also includes the TRP or trip channel in skin, viscera, or muscles. So let's say that this person has pain here, so the free nerve ending are going to take the inf information to the trigeminal or semilunar ganglion where the cell bodies are located. Again, the neurons here are pseudo-unipolar and the information is going to go and enter the pons. Uh, once it enters the pons, it's going to descend via a very important tract called the spinal trigeminal tract. The reason this um, tract is really important, it's because it has four cranial nerve that go through it. So this is cranial number five. It will also take cranial number seven. So let's say that we have seven over here and this would be geniculate ganglion. This is where the cell bodies for um, cranial number seven would be located. So this would also go and join this tract. Um, so this is cranial number seven, your facial nerve. This is trigeminal. You will have, um, it would be like higher up. You will have cranial number nine. So this would be the petrocell ganglion. This is where the cell bodies for cranial number 9 are located. And this will also join the spinal trigeminal tract. And you will also have cranial number 10. So this could be the nodos ganglion. Or superior ganglion. Or different references say different things. Okay, so then the information goes, all of this cranial nerves um, go inside this tract and this will synapse at a nucleus called spinal trigeminal nucleus. So I just put STN. And once it synapses here, it will decussate. So right after, you will have decussation. In the caudal medulla. And it will go up, and it will synapse in the VPM, inside the thalamus. VPM. So VPM stands for ventral postural medial nucleus inside the thalamus and this is via the medial lemniscus. Then the information from here goes up uh, via the projecting fibers, uh, internal capsule and corner radiata to go to the primary somatosensory cortex. So again, this pathway is really important. These fibers are all GSA fibers that take pain, temperature, and poorly localized touch specifically from the external ear. So and this would be from external ear if it was touch. And um, they will go through the spinal trigeminal tract. They will synapse. The first synapse is at the spinal trigeminal tr uh, nucleus. So this is where you have your first synapse. Right after the first synapse, uh, you have decussation. Decussation is via the medial lemniscus, so then it goes up um, once it decussates. And your second synapse it would be at VPM. So you have your second synapse here. And then the fibers, uh, the signal is taken via the projecting fibers, internal capsule and corner radiata. And your third synapse would be at the primary somatosensory cortex. So here you would have your third synapse. 